And I'm Thomas Schuyler. Welcome to Two Scoops of News. After a five-day world business meeting, many believe we need to seriously concentrate on fixing this real economy problem. Banks will now be refusing all monopoly money. An atheist man has opened a business promising to care for people's pets after the rapture, when all righteous people will be spirited off to heaven, leaving their homes and pets behind. That's stupid, says Ashley from South Carolina. I'm sure I read in the Bible somewhere that all good dogs go to heaven. Lost, the final season, has finally started, attracting over 12.1 million viewers. That's 12 million viewers larger than Leno's current audience. A dog breeder from Louisiana has invented a strap-on chastity belt for dogs to protect them from getting pregnant while in heat. When the inventor was asked how her invention would help control the canine overpopulation problem, she responded, what? No, I just invented it to keep my dog pure. You know, for the rapture. Phil Harris, the famous captain on Deadliest Catch, woke up from a coma early morning. When Us Weekly interviewed people on the streets asking about his recovery, many replied, Who? A woman says her love handle saved her life after she was shot entering an Atlantic City bar. She was quoted as saying, I was hollering about losing weight but now I want to get as fat as I can. Here at Two Scoops of News, we'd like to remind her that while it's great her love handles absorbed the bullet's energy and saved her life, if she would have been a bit thinner, the bullet would have missed her completely. We're going to switch gears here and go over to our sports correspondent, Don E. Tello. Don? Don? Welcome to the Sports Score. I'm Don E. Tello. February has been a big month in sports, and most notably, two events that will forever change its history. Tiger Woods made an official apology to his family, his friends, and the entire USGA. Us here at Two Scoops, we got a private interview, and we asked him, how could you cheat on your wife when it was obvious she was so freaking hot? He was quoted as saying, man, my wife was a pain in the ass, but those other women, they were great. The Olympics have been in full swing, and it seems to us that the breakout event this year has been curling. Yes, I said it, curling. The sport you slide some stone down some ice, Great. And with Canada, both the men and women teams dominating, it looks like the other teams will be curling into the fatal position. That's it from the sports score. Back to you, Tom. <laughs> Thanks, Don. You can say that again. <laughs> Thanks, Don. A 21-year-old groom from Idaho was arrested three times on his wedding night for assaulting his bride. A local sheriff was quoted as saying, Wow, three times. You know, you newlyweds, I'm lucky if I get up enough strength once a week to beat my wife. Pam Stout, a happily retired lady, was quoted as saying, I never really got into politics, has voted herself president of the Tea Party Committee in Sandpoint, Ohio. I'm glad to see the Republicans are leaving politics to the professionals. We're going to switch to a more serious segment now called Politics Schmolitics. Tom? Welcome to Politics Schmolitics the part of our program where I give political news and personal advice. Sarah Palin has broken out into her new career as a stand-up comedian, recently performing on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. When asked what made her think she would be a good stand-up comedian, she said, well, every time I open my mouth, people laugh. I personally don't think that a stand-up comedian is too far out of Sarah Palin's, well, her reach, I guess. She already works as a clown in a circus called Fox News. Recently, President Obama has been receiving criticism from former President George W. Bush. Now, President Obama, I know that you do not want to open up dialogue with President Bush, and also, you don't want to look like a coward by not addressing these criticisms. You're in a tough spot, so here's my advice. You're black. Use it to your advantage for once. You tell President Bush that you're originally from New Orleans. You'll slip out of his mind forever, he'll ignore you, and you'll never hear from him again. A question that has been on America's mind for almost a decade is how much wood can a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Under President uh, Bush's administration, 
This question was almost completely ignored, but it was silently confirmed that they believe the answer is none, because woodchucks cannot chuck wood. This, of course, is not the question. The question is, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? President Obama has been brave enough to speak in front of the Senate on this issue, finally coming out and saying that each woodchuck, like each person, has different devotion, determination, and physical capabilities. Now, like all of other President Obama's speeches, he gave no clear, definite answer, which is what the American people want. But what he did successfully accomplish was putting everyone in the Senate asleep, except for Senator Woodley Woodchuck. He took the opportunity to go down and not halfway through Senator McCain's wooden leg. Halfway through, Senator McCain woke up and said, no, my fake leg, it's the only one I have to stand on. He did take this opportunity to say that under his new health care plan, Senator McCain's leg would have been replaced for free, yet it would have been made out of recycled newspaper. Well, that's all we have for today in Politics Schmolitics. Tune in next time. Back to you, Mike. Thanks, Tom. So, Tom, did you hear about this one? A 19-year-old New Zealand girl sold her virginity on eBay for $32,000 to help pay for her college tuition. Impressive, huh? That's amazing. When I lost my virginity, all I got was a six-pack of beer. But, no, seriously, didn't this girl have any uh, friends or family that could have helped her out? Sure she did, but, I mean, a couple of her father's friends were saying they were willing to donate. Members of a small Kentucky church successfully disarmed a man who rode drunk on his horse to church, then walked into services with a loaded gun. Police said the man was arrested about an hour later, charged with not wearing a tie to church. For those of you who follow international business news, a Chinese company who is poised to buy Hummer from GM has recently backed out of the deal. Really? I thought that uh, both sides were very excited about that deal. Well, they were, but uh, I guess Chinese backed out. They had their reasons. Well, Mike, this is the news. Do you think you could give me two or three reasons? Two or three? How about I give you five? Number five. Even a Chinese penis is not small enough for a Hummer. Number four, Hummers were unable to get through Tiananmen Square. Number three, booster seats do not come in adult sizes. Number two, the Chinese already have a car that pollutes double. And number one, because Russian tanks were half off. Uh, thanks, Mike. I'm sure the hey. Chinese will enjoy those Russian tanks. And uh, best I guess luck too. yeah, best luck, best luck to our soon-to-be Chinese overlords. In Wyoming, Michigan, an anonymous group of businessmen have put up a billboard with the picture of George W. Bush, our former president, next to the words, Miss Me Yet? The group of businessmen say they got the idea from a similar billboard they saw in Iraq with Saddam's picture on it. Obama is defending his recovery plan, stating he's already saved over two million jobs. Uh, I think they're, they're waiting for the punchline to that joke. Uh, it's not coming up on the teleprompter. I'm still waiting for it. Is there something? I don't know. Is, Where's the punchline? Did, oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, apparently our writers have uh, been laid off due to budget cuts, so um, this joke is canceled, I guess. Uh, Do you have anything to say, Tom? Are those all the jokes we have for today? I guess without the writers, we're, we're kind of done. Uh, but a common household product that could be killing you and your family without you ever realizing. What product is it? Tune Find out next, next time. time on Two Scoops of News. Good night, everyone. Good night.